All right, guys, good boy 32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting out here in the shop and on the display table are a bunch of pistols. Now, as of late, we've been doing a lot of rifle stuff, scopes, uh, tact cams, shooting out the distance, having fun, doing different things. But what I wanted to do was switch it up a little bit. Let's talk about pistols. And primarily what I want to talk about is the HK Parts Magwell, this guy right here. So what is this? This is kind of like a hybrid. It's it's a, a, not a very large mag well, but it's 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 meant for something that well, if you wanted to carry your uh, what do you call it your firearm, you could have this mag well on there. Now let me show you something. This right here, this this is a big mag well. Now I was gonna bring out the uh, Atlas Titan, but I didn't want to. I, you guys have seen enough of that thing right there. But this is the Shadow Two with a magwell on it. And you can see the difference in that right there. Oh, hey, by the way, Rock Island Armor, you can see the difference in their magwells, just like that. And what does this allow this thing to do? Well, it allows you to push that magazine up into the mag or at least capture that thing up in there quicker. Now, we're going to mount it on this guy right here. This is the HKP30L, and this is a really cool one. It's got the uh, decocker right there. You can carry it on condition one or whatever you wanted to do with it. But uh, one of the comments I made in my last video is with this big old muzzle brake out there, it really is out of balance and it needs a mag well. So they uh, actually sent this to me in response to that comment. So thanks, guys. And uh, I wanted to put it on here. Now, I have gone ahead and put it on real quick just to kind of get a feel for it and uh i'm i'm really pleased with it it the the grip on a p30 is real tight i mean it's the same thing same exact grip as a matter of fact I might just see if this guy right here will fit on this one i don't think it will nope it will not uh it did need some encouragement which is one of the reasons you see this guy right here uh guys yeah i used to use a ball peen hammer a long time ago a lot of people gave me shit about it but Went ahead and picked up this guy real quick. Okay, let's talk about this. Full $59 at HK Parts. Uh, this will not fit on the P30SK. So I don't know if they got one specific to that firearm or not, but this is meant for the P30, the P30L. All right, so what do we do? I've on it, gone ahead and I have pulled out the little pin right here that keeps that back strap on there. And you know what? I have no complaints on how this thing fits. The side panels are really good. No big deal there. There is the pin. You can see how old that thing is. Anyway, all you do to do the install is to shoe in that front part right there. And what we're going to try to do is just make sure that these side edges are in there. And make sure, well, it's one of those things that's kind of fun to deal with. If I had KS Gun Guide at my assistance, here. So now we got it slid on there, as you can see. And all you got to do is pop, pop, pop. There. Now, we then reapply our little punch pin right there. Then bring our punch in. Seat that thing towards the middle. There we go. We're centered up. We need a little bit more. And voila. Got a little scratches on there. I don't care. Anyway, there it is installed. And, man, what a great effect it has on this. Now, my only complaint, and only because I have a, my thing fingers are big and fat and nasty, is that it does cramp that grip up. Does it make it a better receiver well, if it were me, I personally would probably go ahead and take a Dremel tool and smooth those edges in, blend that in. However, there you go. Fits perfectly. Boom. There it is. So anyway, guys, I thought it'd be a really quick video, a little change of pace, talk about some pistol stuff real quickly. There's a little mag well, and it does work with all the extensions, so you don't have to worry about that. But uh, HKParts.com, really cool company, American-made, by the way, which is very important to me. But that's it. Uh, we've got a lot of cool videos coming out. We're going to be finishing up that uh, Timber Creek build. We've got some stuff that looks like this on there. 
and I got a big old charging handle. We're going to be talking about it in a few minutes. Well, anyway, let's go to Boy32. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom's not free, but sometimes it comes in a 9mm with a really cool well, that's backwards. magwell. And again, I would probably go ahead and blend that just to match up. But this is a great application for a carry gun. I'll be looking for something for this guy pretty soon. It's Cowboy 32. I'm out of here. Y'all be good.